Anglo-Saxon archaeological evidence. Sudden Who In 1938, archaeologists made an exciting discovery at Sutton Who in Suffolk. They had uncovered the burial site of a rich Anglo-Saxon king, dating back to around 600. His coffin had been placed inside a hut on a large wooden boat. This sort of burial was normal for a king in Northern Europe at that time. The king had been buried with all sorts of treasure. Silver and gold tableware, gold coins, which helped to date the find, jewelry, weapons, armor and even musical instruments. The site at Sutton Hoo was very important because it revealed lots about what life was like for Anglo-Saxon royalty. It also gives archaeologists clues about Anglo-Saxon craftsmanship, technological developments, wealth, traditions and beliefs. Several of the objects at the burial site had come from distant countries, such as Byzantium, Turkey. This shows that the Anglo-Saxons traded with the rest of the world. Lewis Chess Pieces the Lewis Chessmen were found on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland in 1831. They are a collection of 78 chess pieces, along with 14 counters for a different game and an ivory belt buckle. Some of these objects were made of walrus ivory, while the rest were made from whale teeth. The chess set is one of the only complete medieval chess sets ever to have been found. It was probably originally made in Trondheim, Norway in the 12th century. The style of the shields and armor and the design of the king and queen pieces match designs found in Norway at that time. This makes sense because the Anglo-Saxons were originally from Norway and many of the Scottish islands were still under Norwegian rule. The chessmen are in such good condition that they probably hadn't been played with very much. The collection may originally have belonged to a trader or dealer. Staffordshire Hoard the Staffordshire Hoard is a collection of almost 4,000 artifacts discovered by a metal detectorist in a field near Lichfield in Staffordshire. Archaeologists estimate that the treasure was made in the 6th and 7th centuries and buried in around 650-675. Some of the artifacts are similar to the ones found at Sutton Hoo. The two sites date back to around the same time. Most of the items were parts of weapons and armor, especially swords, that had been broken off, such as sword hilts. No one knows why these artifacts weren't buried whole. These objects had clearly been made by skilled craftsmen. Some had been inlaid with precious jewels, such as garnet or colored glass. Others were decorated with gold filigree, wire twisted into patterns. In total, the hoard contained 5.1 kilograms of gold, 1.4 kilograms of silver and about 3,500 pieces of jewelry made from garnet and set into gold or silver. 